Welcome to the Windows 8.1 Lessons channel. And this is Lesson 6, where we're going to show you how to dock two or more apps on the screen. You might have noticed that when you click an app in the Start screen, they all appear on their own. So for example, if I click Internet Explorer to go browsing, it has its own space. It's a full screen app. But in good old days of Windows desktop, you could minimize or you can readjust the screen size and have two apps running one next to each other. Well, the same thing can be accomplished in Windows 8.1 and it's called docking. You want to dock apps on your screen. And how you do that is that, first of all, these apps need to be running. So they need to be in your app bar I want, for example, to have my weather app and my Internet Explorer app one next to each other. So they're going to be docked on the screen. How do I do that? Click the first app you want. So I'll click the weather. Then go back into that app bar and click on your Internet Explorer or whatever app you might want. Hold it and slide it to the left or the right. You see that? it moves. It actually wants to dock to the right if I go far right or to the left if I'm on the left side. And it creates a separation in the middle, that little black bar. And you can actually move it to give more space to an app than another app. So for example, I might want to have the weather app just shown in one third of the screen, two thirds for my uh, Internet Explorer experience. And each app works on its own. Now, depending on the screen real estate, that means the size of your screen. The bigger the screen, the more apps you can actually dock together. Up to four apps can run at the same time. So if you've got a really big screen, you know, like 20, 24 inch computer screen, you can dock four apps, one next to each other. Word of caution, if you're trying to dock more than two and it doesn't work, it's because your screen size is too small. On a laptop, there's a good chance two apps are the maximum you can dock. If you plug in an external screen, you'll be able to have three or four, and so on. And once these apps are actually docked together, you can keep them like that and change whatever app running in the dock version. So for example, I have Internet Explorer. Now I wish to have uh, maybe the Microsoft Store uh, instead of the weather. I'll simply go get the Microsoft Store that's already open here and then dock it. Once you reach the middle, you see that it actually makes the size of one of the two apps smaller. The smaller of the two is where the new app is going to dock. So for example, I want to remove Bing Weather. I'll slide it a little further to the, to the right side because that's where my app is. And you see that Bing Weather came a little smaller. That means now I can let go and have the app just replace the Bing Weather. If your app's not in the app bar and you want to have it there, all you have to do is press the Windows key. Go on your Windows computer and uh, start menu, start screen, and get the app that you want to have. So for example, I want to do some recipes. I'll take the uh, All Recipe app here. And you see it appears right smack in the middle. And it's telling me, OK, which side do you want to have it? All you have to do is click on the side that we wanted to replace the app. I will click on the right side because I want to replace the app of the store. So here goes on the right side. And the All Recipe app is now running right there on the right side of my screen now. And I can, of course, change the size of that app, do whatever I want with it. Now here I did a little mistake, so I doubled my screen. So whatever you want to do, just go into the app bar, get the All Recipes app, and make it run. Get whatever app you want, you can dock to. If you have a really big screen, three or four is possible. And what's very nice is that if the app needs to open, um, for example, maybe you're in your mail app, you clicked on a message and has a PDF file, that you need to open. 
So what you'll do is you'll click on the attach file and what's interesting is that it's actually going to open a third or fourth docking to show you the PDF file. So it adjusts itself depending on what you are using. So it might actually create itself a third or fourth screen to dock on. If you want to undock these, all you have to do is take that little black bar and slide it over the app you don't want anymore. Or you can, um, well, th that's probably the easiest. You just, you know, go and slide it off. And now my All Recipes is a full screen app and so on. And uh, that's basically how you dock and undock stuff. So you can, for example, dock your desktop and watch what's on your desktop. And uh, let's say I want to uh, now dock my Internet Explorer. I will simply put it here. I still have my desktop visible on my screen on the right side if I want to click stuff and go into the different menus or files. And you have your experience with Internet Explorer on the left side. And like I said, you can, of course, change which one might be bigger or smaller depending on the information you need to use or just simply make the app uh, switch and move the apps in different sizes depending on where you're actually working. So that's called docking and it's a great way to have two apps or more depending on your screen size viewed on the same time on the same screen. It's very useful if you uh, need to take notes, for example, while reading an article. You just put your article on the left or on the right and you put your uh, notepad or your word, for example, on the other side so that you can work on it and take notes while you're reading on the other half of the screen, which is quite useful. If you enjoy our lessons, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new lessons are online. If you have comments, questions, maybe ways that you want us to improve our videos, let us know. We'll try to put uh, these changes if uh, anything's wrong. If uh, Share our channel with your friends on Facebook and on Twitter and everywhere you can. Give us thumbs up and hopefully we are going to help you to use Windows 8 to the maximum with this hopefully easiest possible way to give you lessons on how to use Windows 8.1. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the Windows 8.1 lessons channel. Bye bye.